What's up guys? We are currently in route to become the best men's physique athlete in the world. And since we started prep 11 weeks ago, we've actually gained 11 pounds. You heard that right. We actually gained 11 pounds. So today I'm gonna go over some updates that are gonna propel us for these next 13 weeks. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches, I'm my my business, stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Crew in the cut, hey, you want us to run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Love is love. Adi, love. Bindo, bindo with the switch again. Boy, deliver like he heffin' it. Call with they just give him estimates. Summer sauce for my Benjamins. I got, I got what you need, baby. Skirt the Chevy, make a scene, baby. LABB been the team, baby. So cardio has recently got increased to seven days from 25 minutes from now seven days a week at 30 minutes so very slight adjustment but if you guys notice i'm on the treadmill when i started prep i first originated on the bike and that's because of my knee but after speaking with my physical therapist after speaking with my coach we thought it'd be good to kind of get back into our normal routine and what my body has best shown to respond to don't get me wrong the bike is absolutely amazing and i still do plan to implement it a little bit here and there throughout the prep especially as the recovery on my knee you know takes time and as we begin to get a little bit closer and closer but for now it feels good to be back on the treadmill but i will say you know, there gets a random time, usually around that 20 minute mark when I tend to buckle a little bit. So we gotta stay cognizant, but I'm telling you the strength of my knee feels significantly better already. And maybe it can be credited to hopping back on the treadmill and getting back into my normal routine. Half of this battle is mental. So it feels good to be back doing what I've always been doing. last to the past i don't know if some of you guys are old enough or too young enough to remember healy's but i remember back in middle school for me so probably like somewhere in the 2000s me and my brothers used to ride around everywhere and anywhere with healy's and not only just me and my brothers but i remember they actually outlawed this in our school they outlawed this in like Walmarts, like uh, Target. It was the funniest thing. I just remember the phenomenon of Heelys. And it got to a certain point when I outgrew Heelys at, by like the age of like 13, my feet were just so damn big. Uh, but now we finally found size 13 Heelys after 10 years. It's been one hell of a long journey. I feel like Logan Paul, when he was trying to look for that like really popular, was it Pokemon card? I found it. So. We're gonna do the irresponsible thing and we're gonna give these bad boys a test run. Check it out. Lab till I'm finished, had a handful of lemons through the hand, got a bag, now the hands in the business. For my hand, it's a ticket, talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma, gotta get it. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should've gave, and I'm flipping every digit that they been should've paid. Had to find a way to get it, no, this isn't what you made. If I ever wanna dip, then I'm brink with the blade, and I'm brinking a blink on the brink of some dumb shit. Just give the man the title right away. Darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. I 
didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but light. Now what I'm going to do here is make some adjustments to your document. Now I am going to alter your carbs. I'm going to alter your cardio. What I'm going to do with your cardio is actually bump you up to 40 minutes. And the reason I want to do this is so that I can work you into a deficit as compared to placing you into a deficit. However, I'm also gonna alter carb consumption. Now, I understand this is the Olympia. I understand this is the biggest show of our lives, to say the least. However, we need to approach it like any other show. We can't let the pressure alter how we perform. You have built a successful career with your own standards. I don't want to have your standards and my standards change because of the size of the event. I want you to understand that you can win this show. No matter what anybody says, this show is up for grabs. So with that, man, I want you to trust the process. I want you to understand, and I'm gonna say this again, that it's not about how you look right now. It's about how you look on show day. And my plan is to get you in the exact same position that we were in between New York and Miami. So with that, let's buckle down. Let's kick some ass. Keep me updated throughout the week. I'm not too worried about your weight. I'm more so concerned with visual shifts here. So as always, man, I appreciate your time and your effort. I'm going to fully adjust your nutrition plan. I'll actually send a copy of it to you so that you have it for reference. But this is where we turn things up. 